first try. How y'all doing? Welcome to another episode of a Pick a Card Tarot Reading by your girl, Naomi the G. On today, we are getting into a random pick a card. It's just an energy check-in just to see where you at and, you know, probably help encourage you throughout your day, throughout your week, throughout your month, throughout your year. Um, whatever it is that I can do to insert myself into your life by way of giving you a positive outlook on life, that's what I'm here to do. So before we get into the pick a card portion, we're going to play a game. And um, first, we're going to get into the YouTube stuff. Please hit subscribe if you have not already. I appreciate everybody that is helping push me further into the algorithm. And your subscription and your like and your comment um, on this channel, whatever, on whatever video, really doesn't matter. I really appreciate it. I love the fact that you guys are really into tarot as much as me, and I feel like we are like-minded individuals connected as we should, okay? So, as far as the game goes, we are going to choose something in the box. Not necessarily choose, I apologize. What I have in this box, I want you to concentrate on. It's a form of meditation by way of visualization. You're going to visualize what you think it could be, and even though it's so random, you'll never really know exactly what it is. Your higher self, your intuition can tap in and then from there you can kind of be like, okay, now I see like how this intuition thing actually works. All you have to do is tap in by way of closing your eyes, taking three deep breaths and concentrate on what you think might be in this box. There is no right or wrong. You can guess the color right, you can guess the image right, you can guess um, whether it's a soft surface or a hard surface. You can guess if it's a food, a liquid, a mineral. You never know what it could be. All I need you to do is, if you could just randomly pick something by way of looking through, through your mind's eye, that third eye chakra, you'll be able to see almost exactly what it is, okay? And if you do so with this form of meditation, it'll help you decide which pile is for you. So without further ado, let's concentrate on what could be in this box. What color is it? Is it hard? Is it soft? Is it a, um, what is it used for? Um, what can it do? When you feel it, if you were to, if I were to take it out the box and put it in your hand, what are you gonna, how are you gonna position your hands around it? Are you going to have to hold it with two hands? Are you gonna look at back at it and be like, yep, this is exactly, you can take it and do like this with it. You can. You could take it and do like this with it. How would you position your hands when touching this very thing? Think about that. Two. One. Okay, now let's get into what is in this box. And if you guessed it was a crystal or a rock of some sort, you guessed right. This is a smoky quartz crystal. And these crystals are really good for like um, helping you with your focus and like alleviating headaches they say it's really good with just like you know memory and things like that like tapping into your memory um working with these type of crystals but this is a smoky course if you guess something like that would be in this box down to the crystal whether it was like it made sounds when you tapped it if you were going to hold it in your hand like that baby you guessed right now let's get into these three piles i have Made of three piles for you to decide on what energy you're ready to tap into. If you're into choosing with crystals, I can explain what's on here. This is your clear quartz. It's usually used for almost anything, especially for full moon rituals. If you're into like, you know, letting things go, you can always use the clear quartz. It's actually interchangeable. You can use it with almost anything. So this is your pile one. Pile two is the opal. And um, like I said, opal is really good for like um, childbirth and things. You might gay if y'all are into like e and things like that. There goes your opal. Then we have um, the adventuring, which is really good for like prosperity and like trying to bring in abundance and stuff like that. So one, two, three. What message do you want to hear? And I'm going to go ahead and move these to the side and we're gonna start on pile number one all right so let's see what it is right now you might be a little frustrated it's probably like a lot of things a lot of tasks that you have to handle right now and you feel like you're just only one person and every time you turn around it's just another thing popping up you got to knock out another thing popping up it's like when am i going to be able to relax at this point you know if you 
probably find yourself saying, if it ain't one thing, it's another. Um, first of all, stop saying that because you're manifesting more of this energy into your life. But also know that you're equipped with the tools that it takes to be able to handle these tasks. As we always hear, nothing will be put on you more than you can bear. You are able to get these things done. Um, if you're feeling like you're probably silenced right now, like you're not ex exactly able to express yourself the way you want to, you're feeling kind of held back, that's the energy that you're in right now. And it can be worked out. Um, and it, been, <laughs> it can be worked out and it shows that it will be. Um, handling and knocking out these tasks will be a task nonetheless, but it is necessary and you will pull through. Just continue to stay the course. There's nothing like being able to see things um, get knocked off your list. You know what I'm saying? And um, also, um, if you're feeling like very having a, the need to have like road rage or like speeding through traffic, slow your behind down, okay? And if you continue on this journey of reaching your goals, you're going to eventually see the fruits of your labor come through um, your spouse. It's going to come through your children. If, you, or if you're alone or a single person, if you're working towards like building your house and trying to get things going, like maybe it's just furnishing or maybe just cleaning and things like that, I see that you're going to be able to accomplish all of your goals. You're going to look back and you're going to be like, it feels good to be here. Started from the bottom, now we here, okay? If you had to get rid of somebody out of your life um, and, and they were the thing that was kind of like holding you back or another task you had to handle, you're going to feel good. It's going to be a rainbow on the other side of that storm that you feel like right now you might be going through. So stay the course. It's all working itself out. Overall message is to review your finances. Restructure your capital. Renegotiate your contracts. Review investments and refinance if needed. So if somebody needed to hear that, if it is a financial thing, it's going to work itself out. Um, and I just want to make sure I leave that with you before we leave. Thank you for watching, my loves. And now we're on to how to. Okay, let's see what's going on with this overall energy. Ooh, oh Lord. Okay, right now you could be feeling like you have to do something begrudgingly. Like maybe you're doing something, but you really don't have your heart in it no more. Like maybe it's, um, um, I always say these things because they're more relatable, but it could very well be a job that you do not like. You could be in a situation where you're in a partnership and you know it's, it done ran its course. Especially if you're in like a job or a, a, a partnership through work and you feel like this time has ran its course. I don't want to be here no more, but you're still in there. You're still stuck in that. Um, only thing I can tell you is it's a choice at this point. If it has ran its course and you continue to, if you're continuing to stay on this journey with it, it's because you're choosing to. It's not that you have to. And if you're thinking that you have to, it's all in your mind. You don't have to do anything. The time has ran its course. You are right about that. And it's time for you to go ahead and start moving forward. And you can very well do it. You just got to get your mindset right. I feel like in your mind, you feel like you have to do this because. I'm here because. And there is no more because. At this point, you're here um, as a choice, okay? Um, but I do see that you are developing the strength to be able to come up out of this thing. And I'm very proud of you because I've seen the strength card come out a lot in the pre-shuffles before I start these pick of cards. And I feel like that for all the piles, but especially for you, number two, pile two, I feel like you are going to develop the strength to either continue on this thing because you feel like you have to, um, and you're still going to be victorious in that. Um, or you're going to develop the strength to break these chains that has you feeling so bound, okay? Um, I don't know who needs to hear that. And um, if you are holding on to a relationship that no longer serves you, or even a partnership, like I said, a business partnership, you're at a job because somebody else put you on and you feel like you owe them that much, whatever the situation might be, um, I feel like when you develop the strength to just let that go, you'll be more, you'll be in the seat of where you can attract better for yourself. I see like more things are happening where you're attracting better. Um, 
everything is going to work itself out. You just got to really develop the courage to be able to break this thing. Whatever it is, I feel like you don't want to be there, okay? And if you can only see it from my perspective, I see it working out for you. I see that you're developing the strength. I need you to continue to be courageous and know that where one falls, you gain somewhere else, okay? Overall message is Saturn energy, which is basically what this is right here. Saturn, a karmic gateway has opened. Honor your duties and responsibilities and abundance will fall, um, follow in this karmic completion, which I, this is basically what I was saying. Um, but yeah, I feel like you do need to go ahead and start figuring out how you're going to maneuver and move on from this thing that probably has you feeling bound. You did the things you were supposed to do. You you checked all your, your balances. You honored your responsibilities and your duties. And now it's time for you to go ahead and um, get the courage to finish that, complete that, because you have more on store for you, way more. All right, number two, that was you. And now we're gonna move on to number three. All right, the energy that you are in, number three. I feel like somebody um, is coming to you um, in a romantic aspect. I feel like in this romantic aspect, this person is around you a lot, but you might not see them that way. You might see them as just a friend, or you might be admiring them from afar too, but don't know exactly how to maneuver in this um you know, like, how are you going to get their attention or something like that? I feel like whatever is budding or whatever you want wants you back, but don't rush it to you. Let it take its time. Let it, you know, d dissolve. Let it come to you as the way it's serendipity is supposed to. Like, things are supposed to happen to you. Everything has a fate. The universe works in divine time. And not on your time. Your time and divine time ain't the same. Y'all ain't the same. Y'all not timing on the same time, Okay. So with that being said, I just feel like you might need to just learn how to chill and just let it come to you naturally, organically, because it's on its way, baby. And it could very well, um, it's definitely a partnership. Um, maybe you are developing a relationship and it's moving very slow and you probably feel like is this ever are we gonna are we gonna really like solidify this thing are we gonna be together or are we gonna just you know continue to just eye each other from across the room or are we gonna just be boyfriend and girlfriend or are we just gonna be friends with benefits and i hope y'all not doing that but at the end of the day um or no judgment if you are do you okay let that thing do what it do but um I just feel like y'all relationship is moving in the right direction at the pace it's supposed to. So don't rush anything. You rush this thing, it can also not work out for you. So I feel like y'all y'all are doing right. Y'all are moving slow. And by way of doing so, you'll be able to pass the energy of feeling like this ain't going to work out or he ain't never going to speak to me and say hey or she ain't never going to acknowledge me and you'll get rid of that energy, that energy of feeling like, um, you know, putting yourself down and feeling like you're not worthy, get rid of that thing because that's not the truth. Um, the universe is just trying to show you yourself better. Like maybe you need to start doing some self work, some inner work so you can be able to attract better. Because the thing that you want, like I'm literally trying to tell you and bring on home, it wants you back, but you got to believe it too. You know what I'm saying? Overall message is, your energy reserves are running low. It's time to take time out to recharge. And then you're recharging. This is the time for you to get to know yourself better. This is time for you to be more self-focused. You know what I'm saying? Like, give yourself some, some good love right now. Talk to yourself kindly. Stop saying mean things to yourself. Stop creating scenarios in your head that'll never freaking happen. I know I used to do that a lot where I would create things in my head just to see um, how I would handle it in real life situations, but you don't have to do that. Don't create those images in your head and your mind because those aren't the things you want to manifest. Create better stuff. See things working out for you. See the relationship that you really want because it's coming and it's coming in a slow pace, gradual play pace. And um, I'm going to definitely leave it here. And I appreciate you guys watching another one of my pick a card, you know, rando videos. 
Thank you for also helping me push the word out there. The spirituality is lit over here. We are doing everything in self-development and just really relearning ourselves and our path and our, and our history and our background. If you want to be a part of that, just continue to keep learning and join us. And um, I appreciate everything that um, y'all are doing to push me out there. So continue to hit subscribe if you have not already on your way out. Hit that like button. Help your girl, okay? And make sure that you are, um, if you have anything you want to add to this pick a card, if you liked any of these readings, comment below and let me know what power worked for you. All right, I appreciate it. And we'll see each other again on another episode of Naomi the Chi. Now I'm going to get this... Remote together, Lord.